Hello and welcome to the New Dig Norfolk Gardener, where we talk all things New Dig and vegetables. Now, we thought we'd do a new feature this year, um, and at the beginning of each month, I'm going to tell you what you can be doing in your New Dig garden uh, for each month that goes by. So, jobs for the month, if you like, um, so that um, it'll give you a bit of an idea of what needs to be done during that month. Um, and what can be achieved. Some months tend to be busier than others. Sometimes it's all about seed sowing. Sometimes it's about making repairs to the garden. Sometimes it's about preparing your beds for the upcoming season. But whatever it is, we shall get it out there and try to keep you informed about not only what we're doing here, but what you can also do. So one of the most important jobs that you need to do during January is uh, as land becomes available, you have harvested your crops and removed them is to prepare your beds ready for the upcoming growing season. So for us with no dig that involves spreading a layer of well rotted compost or manure on top of the soil and I've already done this bed here which has been cleared and just put a one inch layer of compost on top and just raked it roughly level and there it will stay until it's needed. Garlic can still be planted if you haven't done so already. Now, we planted ours back in October um, and it's all starting to shoot through now. And you can see the garlic heads poking through, so that's all good. But as I say, not to worry if you haven't sown it yet, so there's still time to sow your garlic now. So at this time of the year, in January, there's still lots to harvest in the garden and the things that you can still harvest. Uh, there are things still like sprouts and kale. Parsnips are still available to harvest. Leeks, cauliflower. We still have cabbages still to harvest. Purple sprouts and broccoli. And swede, carrots and celeriac. All these things are still in season now and you are able to harvest them and enjoy those with your meals. And January is typically a very cold month, so um, there's not really anything that you can sow outdoors at this time of the year. Indoors, we can still start our sowing now this month. And it's good to sow onions, spinach, cauliflower, uh, cabbage, chilies, peppers, this month, all these things can be sown indoors. They do need to be kept indoors, either in a heated greenhouse or on your windowsill indoors. Warm conservatory. Uh, in our case, we tend to use heat mats to start our seedlings off. Um, but they will still remain indoors after that until the weather does start to get a bit milder. So as I said right at the beginning of the video, you know, January is usually a lot colder and we get much more wintry weather. Um, but on the days when it's like this and you can get out, um, as I say, do your harvesting, get your compost or manure onto your beds so that they're prepped and ready to go when you want to put your plant plantings out uh, toward the end of March when the weather begins to warm up. However, on the days when it's not so good, there are still things you can do. So we're at the beginning of the year. Now is a great time to do your planning for your upcoming garden this year. And one of the most invaluable things that I carry around with me is my little black book. Uh, it's a small pocket diary and I literally make notes as I'm going about all year, what I planted last year, how they did, everything about with what we've grown is all in this book. And it's great because when you are sitting there beside the fire and it's lashing down the rain outside, you can look back and think what went well and what didn't go so well. Those things that didn't go so well, maybe we want to try a different variety or maybe a different method. You can do your research then on the internet or watch YouTube videos like mine and get some ideas from there. So, yeah, even when the weather is not so good, this is a great time to do your planning the things you want to achieve in your vegetable garden this coming season. We shall produce one of these each month, so hopefully you'll find them useful. Um, and 
it'll sort of give you a little reminder, you know, what does need to be done in the garden for that particular month that these videos come out on. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up while you're down there. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Because then you'll be notified every time that we post one of these videos up onto YouTube. But until the next time, take care.